Hello, everybody. It's David Clausen with English-Quickly.com. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, every week I do a live broadcast where I um, go over the best things from the week. So like the best movies, music, books, infographics, and many other things. Excuse me there, I had to adjust the volume on that because it gets a little crazy. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to look, make sure that all the technical things are going well. So we'll find out. Um, so yeah, I do a broadcast once a week and we learn English from the best things that we like, you know, most of us love movies and music and other fun things. So I thought we could take the vocabulary from that and, uh, and improve our English and stuff. So, um, I'm going to get started here in just a minute. So I'm going to share my screen. So let me adjust something real quickly. And I'm going to click screen share and we'll do Google Maps. I'm going to present to everyone. And we are live. So I'm uh, broadcasting from the United States in the state of Colorado. I'll go out a little bit so that you can see here. Here is Colorado, kind of in the middle of the United States. And I try to make this interactive. So during this broadcast, if you have a question, Feel free to Skype me on my Skype. My Skype is dclawson underscore two. That's an underscore. dclawson underscore two. So you can send me a, um, a contact now. And I will uh, accept you. And then you can ask a question on Skype. Or... There is a, a place to do a video chat or a chat, um, you know, during this live broadcast and stuff. So whatever you prefer, if you have any questions during that. So once again, it's dclawson underscore two. And I got one question from uh, Stella in Taiwan. Her question was... Um, if you want to say peace of love or peace of love, how do you make it flow smooth? So if you're saying goodbye to somebody, so if I say goodbye, a lot of people will say peace out. So you'll hear them. I'll, I'll type that in. Um, you'll hear them say peace out. <laughs> Peace out, brother. Peace out. We'll see that. Peace out. It's kind of like they say urban slang or, uh, you know, kind of religious peace be with you. You'll hear usually a priest say that peace be with you. And you can see that, you know, like religious people, peace be with you. Or I wish you the most peace, peace possible. So those are some ways that you could say, peace, Stella. So uh, you can try that out. Um, and so once again, let me show you my Skype. If you do have any questions, it's dclawson underscore two. dclawson underscore two. So, um, and, and I just take those calls during this live broadcast. Uh, I'm a teacher in a... Uh, high school during the week. Um, I can show you where I teach at Pomona High School. And that's in Arvada, Colorado. 
Uh, that's the one in California right here. This is where I teach Pomona High School in Arvada, Colorado. So I just take the calls during the week. So let's get started with our show. I always start it off with the movies. I'm not sure if you can see this, if it's coming out well. The number one movie is called The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. And if you're not sure what an army is, I'll just type that in, an army. So those are soldiers. So The Battle of the Five Armies army so this would be an army soldiers and if we look here the hobbit the battle of the five armies so five armies are going to fight each other and this is kind of mythological times um, this genre they call it epic fantasy adventure film an epic fantasy adventure film and you have to really love this kind of genre where they're um which a lot of people do where you have kind of this medieval or mythological fantasy where it's not really real fighting an adventure film so i'll just read a little bit of the plot and the plot is what it's about it's what it's about um bilbo and dwarves watch from the lonely mountain as the dragon smaug destroys lake town in revenge for helping the dwarves okay so here's this word dragon you know if you're not sure so it has to deal with you know dragons and other mythological so here's a dragon that is a dragon bard breaks out of prison and kills smog with the black arrow and the dragon's falling body lands on top of the fleeing master of lake town crushing him to death okay so you know there's a lot here to read because there is so much of the plot but basically you're going to have war with these armies, five different armies, during mythological times. And if you look at some of the statistics, you know, it was a, you know why they make these movies. The budget or the money that they spent was $250 million, and they've already made $665 million. So, you know, not bad. Not bad. Um... Here are some of the release dates. It released in December 17th in the United States here. So, you know, maybe it's where you're at. Um, the Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies. Kind of interesting and stuff. And what I do uh, so that you can learn some English is just below this video, I will put the, uh, let me edit this here. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I got to show it here. You can, um, I'll put the links and then that way you can come back and you can click on the link and you can see, uh, I'll give you an example here. Let's see if this comes up. I put the links down below so you can uh, click on it and then learn from it. So you just, these links will show up after I'm done broadcasting on this, this video and stuff. Okay, let's move on. Um, I'm going to leave this up because there's a book I'm going to talk about. So I'll get rid of that. And now we're going to move on to the billboard billboard the hot 100 the hot 100 and i'm just checking my skype so uh, excuse me if i 
I stop. I just wanted to see if anybody was asking. So the Hot 100, the best songs, the number one is Blank Space, Uptown Funk, Take Me to Church, Lips Are Moving. So uh, I've covered these songs in the past. So just to make sure that you know, you know, these right here are lips on the face. So these are lips. And it's kind of a funny song because <laughs> lips are moving. The lyrics, lyrics are the words of the song. If your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, if your lips are moving, then you're lying, 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 baby. And lying is lying. So uh, if you're lying, um, let's see, definition. Let me put a definition. Then we can see, you know, you're not telling the truth. You are lying. He's a liar. Um, you know, a false statement. You know, the telling of lies. So she's talking about this man. Boy, look at me in my face. Tell me that you're not just about this base. You really think I could be replaced? Now, I come from outer space, and I'm a classy girl. I'm going to hold it up. You're full of something, but it ain't love. And what we got straight overdue, go find somebody new. So she doesn't like him lying. I'll play a little bit of the melody. YouTube gets mad if I play too much. I'll just kind of click here. So if your lips are moving, then you're lying. Lying, 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 baby. <laughs> Then you're lying, 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 baby. Here, I'll play a little more here. So she's a classy girl, meaning that uh, she uh, um, has wealth or she's got good standards. She's classy. You know, let me show you a picture. That's probably better. To be classy, you dress well, you act well, you speak well. So this would be kind of classy right here you know the way he's dressed outfits are classy you know she's classy she looks right and so she's a classy girl and you're full of something but it ain't love so you can buy me diamond earrings and deny nine nine but I know you lie because <laughs> your lips are moving. When your lips move, you lie. Tell me, do you think I'm dumb? Okay, let's check out some of these others. Um, hey, baby, don't you bring them tears because it, it's too late, too late, baby. So don't cry around her. You only love me when you're here. You're so two-faced. So two-faced is you do one thing around somebody and something different around somebody else to be two-faced. So basically, her boyfriend is lying. Megan Trainer is her name right there. We'll listen to a little bit more. <laughs> Say, I know you lie because your lips are moving. Tell me, do you think I'm dumb? So you have to come check it out. I'll put this video uh, in the link section. You can check it out yourself for, um, oh, let me change it here. And then I'll also put the lyrics in there as well. You can always put that in Google Translate if you don't know what um, what the word is or you want to, you know, look at it yourself and stuff. So Megan Trainer, number four song, Lips Are Moving. 
Okay, let's move along here to the best book of the week, the best sellers. And this week I'm going to do the nonfiction. Fiction means it's um, a story. Nonfiction is it's true. So fiction, it's not true. Nonfiction is it's true. So it's kind of reversed. It's and it's a popular movie right now. It's number two in America. It's called Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. It's in the movie theaters and it deals with World War II. This man, Louis Zamperini. So Louis Zamperini had trouble as a boy getting into trouble. He would, uh, you know, not go to school and steal and do things like that. But then he got into running. He would run a lot and he got so good that he got to the Berlin Olympics. He actually uh, shook the hand of Hitler at the Berlin Olympics. But then in World War II in America, he was shot down uh, over the Pacific Ocean. And he was on a raft just drifting where he was around sharks. You know, So he's in the ocean, in the Pacific Ocean, he was shot down, and let me show you that, so you know what a shark is. So he's swimming with sharks. This is a shark. You know, if you're swimming in the ocean, you don't want to deal with that. And he was thirsty and starved, and he lived. He um, ended up with being a, a prisoner with the Japanese. And it's a story of survival. Um, you know, his fate, whether triumph or tragedy, would be suspended on the fraying wire of his will. So the will is you never give up. You keep trying. You try. You have a strong will. Let's see if it'll show it here. Strong will. You know, you're strong. You just do it. You don't give up um you just try 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 and that's basically the story unbroken and i wanted to show you here it's number two if you can see it's the number two song of the week so i'm going to put this here here's the book unbroken and i will put this below so if you want to learn some english you can do it with that. So we'll put that there. And we're going to move on to travel. And we're going to go over to the destination of the month. The destination of the month, which is in the country of Belize, San Ignacio, Belize. And let me show you that. We'll just take a look. Belize, I'll type in. It's a small little country in Central America. And this is kind of in the way, but we can click that out. And you can see it right here. Let me go out a little bit. So here is Mexico, Guatemala, and this is the country of Belize. Let me show you some pictures here, if I can find them oh, did it go away let me type that in again belize and then maybe it will let me do the pictures here so to check out some of these photos so you can see it's very tropical people love to go scuba diving there and they have these mayan ruins So, you know, it's just a gorgeous place. You know, like I said, I have friends that go there to go scuba diving. And the thing about it is what it says, Belize is the perfect destination for escaping harsh winter conditions. 
San Ignacio is known for ruins, caves, and rivers, all which can be explored by travelers. So let me go back to it. So when they say ruins here, they're talking about um, things from the past that you can check out. So here we go. This is a ruin, you know, this Mayan pyramid. But a ruin is, let me type in definition so you know. The ruin is to destroy something, but it's also... Um, should be a noun um hmm they didn't put that there um well maybe more definitions yeah here the remains of a building typically typically an old one so an old building would be a ruin it also means to re ruin is to destroy something so to reduce, um, destroy, devastate. But in this case, when they're talking about a ruin, it's something from history, this ruin right here. And I always, you know, getting around, you can go on a horse, you know, this gaucho here. Things to see here, we got this Aktun Tunuchil Mukna, which is uh, a Mayan burial site where they bury people can check it out here a creek cave so if you're not sure what let me show you what a cave is c-a-v-e cave so this is a cave when they talk about a cave um here we have another mayan attraction um Caracol, the biggest ruin in Belize. So let's type that in, Caracol. And that give us some pictures we can check out. Paste that in. Belize. And this is the biggest ruin in Belize. So very beautiful there. Kind of cool to check out. And some other things here. A tropical Wings Nature Center. And the things to do there, you can go horseback riding, so you can ride a horse, rent bicycles, hike the jungles. So let me show you what a jungle is. The jungles. This would be a jungle, so you can hike through these types of jungles. You can kayak, canoe, or swim in the river. Bird watching, you can watch birds the farmer's market, and explore returning on a long-term stay as a volunteer. So you can volunteer or help work. Um, so here in this picture, the Mayan sacrifice. So the Mayans used to sacrifice. Um, to sacrifice is they would kill somebody to make it bloody. So um, they would, yeah. They would kill people for their gods and stuff. They believe that when they say sacrifice, they would sacrifice a human for their gods and stuff. So you can see a, a remnant or an old body from that. So, you know, we got some little art here from Belize. Some food to eat. Here's the traditional food down there. You can check out some of the dinner and with rice and stuff stone cottages and you can just do other things so that's the destination of the month san ignacio belize a great place to go you know when it's cold it's cold right here in colorado so that would be a nice warm place to go so i'm going to put that in if you want to learn some english from that check out Belize. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to move on to the infographic of the week. Infographic of the week. And in America, 
we have a battle with obesity america's battle with obesity and what obesity means is that people are too big they have eaten too much so america's battle with obesity you can see here i'll just put it in so obesity you know of the condition of being grossly fat or overweight corpulence plumpness fatness stoutness that is obesity because we eat so much as americans we are getting overweight or obese obese one third of children in america are overweight or obese and more than one third of adults are obese in america so about 33 percent and four decades of rising obesity it's been going up since 1974 they call this the trend so you can see that the trend is up you know so the number of children of obese children has tripled since the 1970s so in your country do you get um, a lot of weight and stuff there is a 70 percent chance an overweight obese adult adolescent will be overweight as an adult so this is the medical cost costs the united states 147 billion dollars because of obesity the state i live in colorado we have the lowest rate and mississippi has the highest rate has the highest rate of obesity they have laws to uh for you know good school meals in different states uh diabetes you gotta watch about which is a disease they give tax incentives to stop it um there's nutritional information at grocery stores so you know that's something we have to worry about and that's the infographic of the week obesity america's battle with obesity so let me put that in there you can check that out if you need to And moving right along with the photo of the of the day gathered greens so take a look at this it's like a beautiful picture a group of Oaxaca women returned from a daily excursion across Pakistan Hunza riverbed so let's take a look at that Pakistan Hunza. I'm going to just type that in. So the Hunza Valley or Hunza River. Let's just see what comes up. I'm going to zoom that out. So we can get an idea where it is. Okay. So here's Afghanistan, Tajikistan. Here's China. And right here is Pakistan. This Hunza River. Let's see if we can get some more picture. Hunza Valley. Let's just go Pakistan. Let's see if we get anything else. Yeah, you can see it there. Isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful valley and a region in Pakistan. So that's the photo of the week from National Geographic. So I'll put that in as well. You can check that out if you like that and once again uh, i'm gonna show you real quickly before i'm gonna leave here in a couple minutes but if you have any questions feel like you can uh, call me quickly here on skype my skype is dclawson underscore two okay so if you have a question now uh you can give me a call on skype because our last segment of the day 
learner's word of the day from Merriam Dictionary is deserted, to be deserted. And that means basically left empty or abandoned. This parking lot is deserted. The town was deserted. There were no people in the town. We came upon a deserted old hotel, a deserted street, deserted wives. So that's the word of the day. I will put that in as well. You can go check that out. And I'm looking to see if I have any questions, which I don't. I'm going to put in next week's show. So I'll do this again next Sunday. So I'm going to add a new live event. I'll put learn English from the best movies, music, destinations for travel, and many things from the week. See if it goes in. I'm going to put in the date. Today's the 4th, so next Sunday will be the 11th. I'm going to do that at 8 a.m. my time, so make sure to check your time. I will post this on my Facebook page. You can come check it out. Um, let me pull it up here got so many tabs and things so here's my Facebook page English quickly so I'll put that in my Facebook as well you can check it out And we've got to make that public. So I'll hit create event. And now when I click on it, you can see it counting down six days, 23 hours, 27 minutes and 33 seconds. So that will be for next week if you are around come on by i'd like to hear from you i'll post that on my facebook click post so you can check it out there i'll put that at the top pin to top that you can check out So, yeah, so learn English quickly, a live event for next week. If there's um, any more questions, I'm just looking at my Skype or at the channel. It looks like we're all good. And no questions from Skype. So, all right then, let me just, uh, I'll end the stop screen. Okay then, so thanks so much for your time. I hope you learn some English from this, and uh, I will do this again next week. So have a great week and take care. Bye-bye.